Hi, today on Typical Books, it is the end of the bookshelf tour, episode 10 of the bookshelf tour. Now I have gone through basically every book in the house. There are a few shelves here and there that have books on them, like here and there, but they're not really, yes, they're books, they're books, but they don't fit into booktube, although I have covered like the Art of Diablo book, stuff like that. They don't really fit in. There are also stacks of books upstairs that aren't featured in this, mostly because I forgot about them, or they're books that are to be read, and my to be read pile doesn't end up on the shelves yet. With of course the noted exception of the V.C. Andrews shelf, which you'll see today, most of which I have not read because I read a lot of V.C. Andrews as a kid piecemeal and I was very young. Some of it I reread as a teen and fell totally in love with and one of those isn't even here on the shelf. And of course uh, the Anne Rice shelf, which I'm not going to go through book by book. There are many, many booktubers. If you know a booktuber that does specifically only V.C. Andrews or specifically only Anne Rice, let me know in the comments for sure. But yeah, I'll skim over those. And as promised, I'll go back to that little stack of extreme horror fiction and the little bit larger stack of graphic novels. So without much more time to waste, here is part 10, the final part of the bookshelf tour. Okay, so here we are with some of the V.C. Andrews paperback. You can see some books are upside down. They're not really in order. And this is quite disordered because basically, aside from Garden of Shadows, and I think I'd started reading Secrets in the Attic, most of these I have not read. These are B.C. Andrews that I haven't read, especially these small series here. Very fascinating and something that I will get into when it's a rainy day reading day. Moving up one level, we have the second row of the hardcover collection. They're all uh, book club editions from what I can understand. And they were a wonderful uh, copies that came to me from my husband who had supplied me with the bookshelf and this wonderful collection. There is one V.C. Andrews book not in the series that you'll see at the top and it is Flowers in the Attic, oddly enough. And here we are with the top row starting with Seeds of Yesterday, Fallen Hearts and into some of the Castile books. I really love this collection. And it is in order by section to a certain extent, but yeah, there are some additions missing, which I do want to flesh someday, that's for sure. And some are in the midst of being read. So, hey, what do you do? They really are in lovely condition though, I will say. They're all book club editions. Some are stamped with the library of the person that had owned them. Fashioned after the paperbacks with the step back covers, these all retain the same artwork, although, of course, being a hardcover, aren't step back. They're all really quite plain, slight foxing on the dust jacket. Just beautiful, classic V.C. Andrews cover art. My gosh, I love this collection. I don't know if the embossing is going to show up here. This is a BVR, and I can't make it out in most of the books. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'll try and take a rubbing of it or something like that if I can. I don't know who this collection came from, but they were well loved. That is for sure. This one's a little more clear. I don't think it's showing up on there, but B. Vondel Roddy, V-O-N-D-E-L-L-R-O-D-D-I-E is what the embossed mark says. So that is it for the V.C. Andrews collection. We're going to head upstairs and wrap up a quick uh, panning of the Anne Rice collection. Okay, here is a wonderful Anne Rice collection that belongs to my husband. And he's just got an eye for collections and great luck, it seems. We start out in order here with uh, Interview with the Vampire and onward into some Mayfair Witches and things like that. Taltos has got to be one of my favorite Anne Rice collections that isn't directly, like Lasher and Taltos together, that isn't... Uh, a interview with Vampire that isn't specifically Lestat's tale. Lasher maybe being my runner-up to the original two interview and Vampire Lestat. Not pictured here of course is one of my other favorite Anne Rice books, uh, Violin. Okay and as promised we are going to go through these lovely graphic novels. 
there's a lot missing. I'm not that ardent of a collector. Chris is definitely the collector out of the two of us. Uh, so his collections are typically in a lot better order and mine are piecemeal at best. Clyde Barker's Book of the Damned Hellraiser Companion. That was a gift from an ex, as was this Book of the Damned 2. This is something I picked up at Ron Sutton's table at a Comic-Con. Uh, he does a story in this, The Telltale Heart, on page 113, fittingly enough. More out of order, Hellraiser, haha, <laughs> volume one, Clyde Barker's Masterpieces. Uh, lovely artwork in this. Had to find a more level spot to place these. Hellraiser's Dark Watch. More just absolutely beautiful, barely spine cracked splendor. More Hellraiser. Are we sensing a theme here? <laughs> yeah. Some standalones that were gifts here and there from other people. Yeah, just beautiful stuff. Three lock and key. I thought I had more lock and key, but I don't. So I am an active collector of lock and key. So we've got number six, three, and one. And I know I had two somewhere. I just don't know what happened to it. But I do love the art of these. And I watched the story, like the Netflix version. I believe it was Netflix or Shudder. I like the books better. The Crow Special Edition, James O'Barr, of course, the classic crow beautiful stuff and we're into some 30 days of night so this uh, is all here 30 days of night i'll put it in order later because i see it's out of order a little tiny bit here but we had gone on a bit of a hunt for 30 days of night because i've never read any of this at all i saw the first one in the store like i mentioned in the previous um in the vampire video that i'd done i've never read it i saw it I was too broke at the time to buy any of it. So here we are. And you may recall from Halloween Thon, this is crossed. We don't have a lot of crossed. It's hard to come by and there's more of it, I believe, downstairs, but I'll have to look. And just for curiosity's sake, I'm going to just flip through this collection really quick. Uh, the cover of Despumation, if you didn't get a chance to see it before. Uh, Edward Lee's Carnal Surgery. Edward Lee's Mangled Meat. These are not for the faint of heart. Genital Grinder, there's two copies here. Uh, like Porno for Psychos, Wrath James White. And Bullet Through Your Face, Edward Lee. So that was fun, huh? I, you can see here I've rearranged stuff since, you know, and there have been books added and, and detracted from the pile since I started this bookshelf tour. I've kind of tried doing like a rainbow order here. It's nearly impossible with like this particular mess of a collection. You can't really see, but it does go into white. So I posted like a small white stack because I was surprised I had that many white books on Instagram. Anyhow, I enjoyed that a lot more than I thought I would. And I'm glad that I'm done it. You know, 10 episodes in bookshelf tour. Now I am going to get some more Billy bookcases because I really like the look of those over these piecemeal cases. So who knows? Our bookshelves may change very much. So I may revisit this, let's say when I hit a thousand or 2000 or 5,000 subscribers or whatever, whatever milestone or just having pretty bookshelves, maybe I'll redo the tour someday in a way, but it won't be as long drawn out. So as it stands, here we are 10 episodes of bookshelf tour. I hope you enjoy it very much. As a bookend, no pun intended to that, I am going to do a tag. Over at Minx Laura's 123's Wacky World, she has a brand new bookshelf tag that I could not resist. And I am a new subscriber of hers, definitely. And I really enjoyed the questions for this bookshelf tag. And like she says in her video, she made it because she wanted to make a tag and because she's nosy. And hopefully I appease a little bit of that and I'd like to follow up some of these videos. I've watched a lot of bookshelf tours, but a bookshelf tag specifically, if you're looking to do a bookshelf tour, but don't want to invest the time or whatever reason, this tag might be for you. So thank you again for the 10th time watching my bookshelf tour and enjoy the upcoming bookshelf tag. Or if you've done a bookshelf tour recently of your own, let me know in the comments and of course have an ookie spooky day.